good morning beach lover thanks for joining me again today my name is Jennifer Lindquist my friends call me Jen and today you're joining me in my studio I just wanted to do a quick video about the process of the painting that I've got going on behind me it's not done I'm still in process but I, I thought you might like to see the planning stages I've posted a few videos but I'll go from beginning to end and I'm gonna bring the camera with me as I talk about each step of the planning process. All right, so this is the painting I'm working on at the moment. And when I got the idea, originally I just needed to get the idea put down on paper. It doesn't need to look great, so I put it in my, scrap, uh, my scrapbook. Put it in my sketchbook, I'm gonna show you the sketch. This is the first sketch that I did for this. So I basically just wanted to get an idea of what I wanted down on paper and I put the van and I knew I wanted a VW van. I just, you know, I don't draw them. So I wanted to get the basic shape where I wanted the girl in the picture and a little bit about the scene around her, but mostly just to get the idea down on paper. All right, so this is a second sketch that I did on location. I used watercolor paper for this one just in case I wanted to paint it in. So I sat down in an area and I actually, let me show you something else. Um, I took some photographs. I put these surfboards out together to kind of get the length of the bus so that I knew how long it was. And I drew the background in first and then using the length of the surfboards as a guide when I got home, I drew in the bus and the girl and you know quick sketches just to get an idea of everything's where gonna where everything's gonna be now i already had a few uh volkswagen buses that i pulled off of the internet with licenses for you to be able to reuse them if you change them so this is one of the ones that i use in order to grid and get the correct size for the bus in relation to the girl and then i created this I would call this more of a drawing and less of a sketch. I really took my time to measure everything out, get the girl to the approximate size that I wanted and get the shape of her that I wanted. I really like it. I think it's adorable. I also did some separate sketches just to kind of get the girl defined a little bit more. And I had already done some feet walking in the sand sketches in the past. So I spent a little bit of time a little bit of time trying to get some really good drawings of areas of the body that I think I would struggle with. So I worked that out and then I have those as a reference for when I start painting. And as you can see, this is still very much in process. I decided to do an underpainting for the first time. I've never done it before. I mean, I always lay down a layer, but this was um, a little bit different. I just wanted to make sure that I was getting uh, the deep colors, get the contrast that I want. I'll, I'll know if it's worth it later because basically with acrylics, I'm painting over everything. I'm not really glazing as much as I thought I would be able to glaze with this. So a lot of times I get way more coverage than I want and I'm still trying to keep my, my tones the same, but um, I like it so far. And so having all those detailed sketches helped me work out the colors that I want for the van. This is not the color it's gonna be, this is the underpainting. And get some details in the curtains and get some nice depth, decide to put some, <clears throat> excuse my morning voice. These are gonna be some beach umbrellas and the sky. I think I've still gotta work that out a little bit. I'm completely undecided. But the funny thing is even with all the sketches and all the planning, I still am redefining the beach. So I had the beach coming down this way, which I thought looked really good. And then, you know, once I was thinking about where the, the bus is gonna come, it's gonna have to leave track marks because it will have driven up the beach and need to turn and there needs to be room for that here. So I had to pull the shoreline back and then the water is gonna be a little further back here. It's no big deal. Um, it was unexpected. But I think I was kind of questioning that from the very beginning. And that is something I could have worked out on paper if I had done another sketch, final sketch, before doing this one. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed going through the process of what it's like to plan out a painting from sketch to underpainting and painting. And I am still adding things and thinking through things I'd like to add to the painting as I go. So even where it is now with the underpainting, it's not complete. You saw I'm reworking the water and a few other things. I am considering doing a video on planning out a full collection. So you'll have to let me know if that's something you're interested in. Just put it in the comments below. Let me know if you learned anything. If you have suggestions for planning out paintings in the future, I'd love to hear it because I know there's a lot of very experienced artists out there. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe I'll see you at the beach this summer. Bye.